Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is your top 10 pre-order video. This weekend only, this is a good one. Uh, I was up uh, the last two days all the way to uh, just insane amount of deliveries. Packing, I did like 180 something. So I stayed up and did that and uh, I set my alarm. I didn't wake up. So I'm filming this probably an hour before it goes out. I'm going to throw it together really fast to get it out to you. So this is your top 10 pre-order final order cutoff video. Let's go right to it. Okay guys, I'm going to burn through this video super fast, okay? Because I wanted to try to get out on... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Try to get it out on time for you because I'm filming it right before, about an hour before. So let's do a couple covers and then we're going to get straight to the top 10, which is a good one. Uh, we got Detective Comics 1084 cover C. Uh, we also have the Jim Lee cover and the 1 in 25 Fumera cover. Feral number one second print cover. Feral number two, cover B. So number one's Halloween homage. Two B is the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street homage. Flash number eight, cover B, Lyrics Lee. Harley Quinn number 39, cover B, Jenny Frizen. Pretty sick. And I think that the one in 50, Mindy Lee, will be kind of sought after. Even though it won't be hard to get because a lot of people are going to be selling that Frizen. Uh, Immortal Thor number 10, the Capullo variant. Power Girl number 8, the Brooks variant. Showcase number 22, Fax Edition Foil. Ultimate Spider Man number 1, 5th printing. Weapon X Men number 3, the Sonar variant. And The Witcher, Corvo Bianco number 1, cover D. There's your covers. Uh, shout out to Infernals number three, cover B. Great read. I love that book. It's pretty good. Okay. I'm about to hit your top 10. Thanks for subbing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. Just know if you order from me at my store, economicsandcomics.com through the weekend, you get entered, it, entered into a giveaway at the store. One person will win a bunch of ratios and stuff. This could be a good week to give us a shot well us meaning me and my 10 fingers that are an absolute pain right now um because there are some good books so let's start with number 10 dc spring breakout number one I'm not too excited about this book but i like cover b and i like cover c you know how these do these one shot big books it could be a key in there somewhere Number nine is Universal Monsters, The Creature from the Black Lagoon Lives, number one. This is kind of cool, actually. Uh, I like Cover B by Middleton. And let's see. There is a 1 in 100 Alex Ross foil. It's going to be hard to get, I think. Um, but I like the Middleton cover better. I'm going to skip through the explanation. I think you know about this book. Okay, number eight. It says... Finally, White Boat number one's coming out, the Stegman variant. This is the distillery book. Um, I have a feeling this book's going to be really good, but it is magazine sized, um, which is fine, I guess. But I mean, are we comic books or, or what? Come on. Make up your damn mind. Honestly, it's frustrating. Okay. But I'm excited for this one. This is Schneider, by the way writing it number seven is drawing blood number one now this is a new kevin eastman book uh it says readers will follow the jaw-dropping journey of shane bookman a cartoonist whose real life has become more absurd and action-packed than any comic book story he could dream up could be interesting it's eastman all right we're getting better here number six star wars phantom menace 25th anniversary special Here's the Noto, Plukun, and Bolta Swan Master Apprentice variant. Uh, it's going to talk about stuff that happened within 
the Phantom Menace, an all-new story, could be interesting. Number five is Penguin number nine. I love that read. And cover B by Matina. It's going to be good. Very excited. Number four is a pure cover by and probably my favorite cover by Peach Ramoka of all time. I, I know there's better ones, but Spider-Woman 7 Peach Momo cost black costume cover. That cover is butter. Pure butter to me. I'm going to buy extra of that cover just because she's so hit and miss. More miss than anything. And I think this is a home run. I absolutely love it. I, no Momoko, but not today. Today, give me Mo Momoko. Okay? Alright, top three. And these are a big three. These are good, guys. Okay, here we go. Number three is Deadpool and Wolverine World War Three. Here's number one, cover A. And here's the Del Otto variant. Wade w Wilson and Logan at the end of the earth at each other's throats. Uh, I, th The mysterious Delta believes in change. Change is good, but he's set his sights on Deadpool and Wolverine is caught up in the plot. I, I think there's going to be a first appearance in this. I mean, it's like the right time, right before a movie drops. I know they're filming, whatever. I think they're a little early on this. But I think it's going to be good. All right, these are my two top two right here. Number two is Get Fury, number one. First of all, cover A is ASM 129 all over the place. And then you have the Ferriera variant. Garth Ennis returns to Marvel. With Nick Fury and Frank Castles, you've never seen it. It's 1971. There is a war raging in Vietnam, and Nick Fury has been captured by the vet or the Viet Cong. At this moment, they don't quite understand. They have what they have in possession. In their possession, a man who knows enough secrets to damage the U.S. beyond comprehension. The CIA, however, does realize this, and they can't risk their enemy getting those secrets. So they dispatch the most deadly man in the army, Frank Castle. So the Punisher is going to go get Fury. It sounds, look, there is nothing better, not, this is Garth Ennis, but there is nothing better than the Punisher in the jungle. I mean, that's what I grew up reading. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. And number one, this is a key as well. Venom, a separation anxiety number one. Here's the regular cover, which is dope. Web of Spider-Man homage. A lot of people have been waiting this book. A lot of Venomite psychos, Venom people like myself have been waiting on this book. Here's the Sandoval variant. Lots of good covers. Here's the John Boy cover. And the Ron Lim foil is going to look so good. It is going to look amazing because of the colors. Long Live the King in Purple. I think that's the first appearance. Amazing. Uh, David McElhinney's back. Uh, telling another new story about Eddie Brock in the early days. This time he's teaming up with Venom and Death of Venomverse artist Sandoval. Venom has made a new enemy and their bond will be tested like never before when a foe with the power to alter reality itself threatens to tear Eddie's world apart. Starting with a symbiote. There are some big books. You guys, try to get your orders in by the end of Sunday night. There's some weird stuff going on with the distributors, like not even listing books. I, I don't know what's going on. Start, get your orders in early by Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern if you can. You guys, thanks so much for watching and being patient with me. Um, and that's it for this top 10 pre-order video. See you later.